Hey guys, so today's video is going to be an updated, updated what's on my iPhone video. I have done two of these already and people seem to love them. You guys always ask me, it's like my number one requested video. Can you update what's on your iPhone? Can you do an updated video on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere? So I decided I'm gonna do it and my iPhone always changes. So I figure I might as well show you a 2013 version of what's on my iPhone. So if you haven't seen my older versions, I will link the two below because I'm not gonna talk about the apps that I talked about in those as much or in detail unless I really love them just because it would be like a 55 minute video because if you guys have seen my older ones, you know that I have an obscene amount of apps compared to other girls that do these videos. I have the white iPhone 4, not the 4S, not the 5, looks like, and my phone case is from wildflowercases.com, which I will link below. I am obsessed with all of their phone cases. They're pretty reasonably priced as well. They're, this was like $15 or something. If I'm wrong, I'll annotate it right here. But this phone case is amazing. I get so many compliments on it. It's like studded. I dropped it like five times and nothing happens. These studs are like in for good. And um, it has like a pretty red rose here. And I put this on Instagram a while ago. I'll link the picture here. And everyone loved it. So go check out wildflowercases.com if you guys want to get a phone case similar to this. They have also really pretty cross ones. I just absolutely adore that website. So that's the case and then this also if people are wondering where i got this it's just a little sticker this was like maybe a dollar on amazon just type in iphone home stickers and i just put in leopard and i got like a pack of six of these for like a dollar or two dollars they're really really cheap okay let's get into my iphone i really have a problem with blabbing way too much so this is my lock screen if you guys don't know i posted this on instagram the other day my little puppy roxy is fairly old. She's 14 years old. She's a Yorkie and she's so healthy, but we just took her to the vet the other day. And unfortunately she has cancer of the salivary gland. So she is in surgery right now, actually, as I'm making this video. And I changed this to my home screen a couple days ago, just because I miss her so much. People ask all the time how I get my password to be a letters instead of a number. It's an option in the security settings. I just don't like typing in a number. It's faster for me to type in a letter. So that's that. So this is my first page of apps. This is YouTube, obviously. I don't need to go into a discussion about that app. I'm sure most of you know what that is since you're on YouTube watching this video. Okay, the second app is my Google app. This is my mail. For once, it has nothing there. I'm so happy. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very... Uh, picky about having like mail there that I just haven't read. I like to delete all spam and just get rid of or answer all the email that I can ASAP because I don't like that little red symbol there showing me that I have 45 pieces of mail. Um, and this is Twitter. It is just at xjboom 7 x I know, very clever. And this is just my background. And here I have Pandora, which if you guys don't know what Pandora is, you are missing out on a lot of goodness because it is the best app Seriously, I think this is my most used app. It is just so amazing. You don't have to buy or download any music. You can just listen to whatever you want here. You just type in your artist or your favorite kind of music genre and they will link you with a ton of songs. What the heck? I'm sorry, John Mayer is playing here. So, um, basically you type in who you like and what the hell? Not right now, John. Okay. Type in like the artists you like and then they come up with your own station. Well, here you have all the people that you like. These are just random uh, radios that I do have. I have no idea why Justin Bieber's in here. I think the girl I babysit put him in there, but yeah. Anyway, so that's Pandora. And then I have my text messages, which there's nothing really that interesting in here. Uh, Instagram, which is my favorite app. Link it below. You guys can follow me if you would like. I just love Instagram. I'm on it 24 seven. I try not to post too many pictures a day because I don't want to blow up people's news feeds, but I am obsessed with this app. So then the second page of apps over here, we have app store, which I don't need to go into detail. Alarm clock, which I set like um, literally a million alarms to wake up because I feel the need to snooze. Then I have my photos, calendar, settings, camera, everything that really came with the phone, calculator, wonderlist. If you guys don't have wonderlist, it's just a way to really have a good list of just at whatever you want to list. I have stuff that I need to get at the food store, at Lush, drugstore, specific nail polishes, Sephora. Then I have my phone icon just so I can see who I need to call back or if I get voicemails, which I freaking hate 
Does anyone else hate voicemails? I don't know why, but I only like listen to them just to get rid of the little icon on the screen. Then I have Safari music, which is just my iPod. Then I have, I'll get to that in a second. I have contacts, obviously. And then Hotlook, Hotlook, whatever you want to call it, which is the best app ever. It's just the same as the website, flash sales for tons of different brands. Facebook, which I uh, have my link below if you guys don't follow me. And then We Heart It, which I love We Heart It. You can just search for pictures of anything. You can just like type up here the category you want and just have random pictures to Instagram or put as your background. And it's just such a cute, cute app. So I definitely love this. You can search anything seriously like uh, cats search. <laughs> If you don't know me, I'm a crazy cat lady. Anyway, then you have pictures of cats. Oh, and then I guess I'll go into my pic editing folder, which the way I edit my pictures for Instagram, I have photo glitter, which I don't really use anymore. Lens light, which is my, one of my favorites. It has so many different filters. I'm going to click it just to show you guys the amount of filters that it has. I literally love this app. I think this is one of my most used without a doubt for my editing pictures for Instagram and stuff. So let's just load, uh, I guess this photo of my background you can hit all these effects right here and scroll through and have any of them added to your picture. And I just think they look so cool. There's the heart stars, sparkles. I like this one. There's just so many cool things you could do. So I really, really like this app. I think it's free, but I'm not positive. Then you have Pick Stitch, Deluxe FX, Insta Collage, Bokeful, Pick FX. I love this one. It's one of my favorites iPhoto, which I don't recommend downloading or buying. It's like $4.99. The only reason I got it is because I had a gift card. It's not that amazing. PicFrame is what I use to make all of my pictures when I have like four at a time or any of my collages. That's what I use. And then Signature, which is a way to watermark your photos. InstaFX Pic Collage, they're pretty much the same. I just have them all here. By the way, if you guys want to know, I have the 32 gigabyte iPhone. A lot of people on my older iPhone videos seem to ask what amount of gigabytes I have because I have so many apps. So I don't know if it's a lot, but that's what I have. Okay, then I have social, which is my folder of social networking here. We have Skype, which is obviously Skype, amazing. Kick, which my username, I don't even know what it is. I think it's already here somewhere. You guys can kick me if you want. I always respond eventually. Insta message, which I will respond to you as well if you want to message me on there. Snapchat, which I don't really use, but um, if you want to Snapchat me, you can. I really don't even know what the point is. I, I don't desire to send people pictures of me like literally eating cereal or whatever, but oh hey, did all these people add me? I don't even know. Add, add, add. Um, I don't know how to find my username, but if you guys want to Snapchat me, go ahead. If I find my username, I'll link it here. <laughs> Keek, which I only downloaded to watch other people's Keek because I'm a loser. I just haven't Keeked, but maybe I will eventually. My username is CherryBoom7x, or uh, the same as my YouTube name. Voto, which is a really cool app. You could upload a picture and have your followers or whoever's on vote for whichever outfit or whichever nail polish they like better. And then WhatsApp is a good way to text if you're overseas and different countries. Haytel is kind of like a messaging app. Um, like voicemail messaging app. Insta follow and fo uh, find unfollow are cool because I love these apps. They tell you who unfollows you on your social network. So for example, Insta follow is for Instagram and unfollow is for Twitter and it just shows you who unfollowed you. So for example, here I have um, new followers and who unfollowed you. So let's, I'm not trying to call out anybody, but hey, let's call them out. So all these people unfollow me on Instagram. I swear I use like, I lose like maybe I don't know, 50 followers a day on Instagram. I hope it's nothing I do. I don't really think I'm that offensive. But anyway, bye, see ya. And then on follow, same as that, but for Twitter. And then Whisper is a new app that I actually just got. I love it. It's so funny. It's basically a way to kind of tell your secrets to the public world, I guess. But you don't have to use your username or anything like your Instagram or Twitter name. You just can make up a username and then you pick a picture, any picture you have uploaded or a random picture, and you type in a confession or something that is a secret, maybe really private or embarrassing. So here we go. Uh, let's see. This man decided to put proposing to my, or, or maybe the, okay, well, he's gay. This, that's awesome. Going to propose to my boyfriend in five years tonight. Wish me luck. So that's them. And he put that up and that's just cute. And then you can have all these replies at the bottom 
and like favorite them and it's just, it's just such a funny app and well that's not really that funny that's cute actually but uh these are all and then you can like you can whisper back at them so this person put a picture of this and put I'm so happy for you good luck does anyone else keep whisper a secret because they don't want anyone else to know they're on it if you guys don't know what Bonello is I highly recommend this app I know I'm saying that about most of my apps but I seriously love this app it's like cute little random tchotchkes and gadgets that you would find on Amazon for maybe like five bucks or less but you can buy them here and you just hit favorite and then you can actually buy them through PayPal or your credit card and it's just like stuff that maybe wouldn't necessarily be in the stores around you and it's just stuff for example i would love i don't know if you guys are like me but like okay here's pink glittering sneakers oh hold on pink glittering sneakers that is awesome um you can buy it right here or you can just save it those are actually kind of ugly but uh let's see let's look for i found like cute iphone stuff here or like posters or just really cute random stuff this interest which if you don't have pinterest I don't even know what to tell you. I used to love it. I'm less addicted to it now, but I still really like it. I just have random like hairdos, shoes, inspiration, nail ideas. So yeah, I love Pinterest. Okay, then we have uh, Rue La La, which is similar to Hot Look. It's just a flash sale site that has a lot of higher end brands, which are amazing and I love it. They give you crazy, crazy discounts. So if you are a shopaholic, you will love Rue La La. Then you have Makeup Alley, which is just an app that is similar to the, well, it is the website makeupalley.com, which you just look up reviews for makeup products. Dictionary, which is a very good app to type in any word. Obviously, I'm not gonna define a dictionary, like get real. CNN, which is my news app. I really like that because it gives me push notifications or if I'm not using my phone, I'll just get like a random alert from CNN, which is sort of like a text message of the news that is happening. Then we have music, which my music folder isn't really that big. It's just Shazam, iTunes, and iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio is just a radio app, and then iTunes, iTunes where you can buy whatever music, and then Shazam is pretty freaking awesome. This is one of my favorite apps, I think, in the world. You basically just hit Shazam whenever you hear a song, like in the store or on TV or something, and it will listen to that song. You just hit touch to Shazam. It will listen to that song, and it will tell you the exact song that is playing so you can download it when you get home okay then we have flashlight app which is helpful if you are in the dark then i have the 77 looks app which i actually will be doing a video in a few days about this it's a really cool app it's like youtube but instagram formatted really cool way to look up different videos or beauty ideas or product reviews on uh, like a quicker way instead of YouTube, but it's stuff that you can find on YouTube. They just gather the hottest videos on YouTube that have to do with a certain topic and put them in this. So I really like that app. Then we have Find, which is pretty much find whatever you want. I have my contacts back up on here. Best tip calculator, which is a good way to calculate tips for a restaurant. A countdown here, which is amazing. Translate to translate into any other languages a compass in case you're lost, voice memos, notes, weather, maps, stocks that came with the iPhone, and then camera plus, which is just a different camera app. I don't know why that's in find, but whatever. Then I have find, which is just basically finding anything that's around you. Around me is a great, amazing app that has pharmacies, bars, restaurants, anything you want, basically whatever's around you. It'll tell you Yelp to search like reviews of restaurants, Urban Spoon, similar, Happy Hour to find any good happy hours, Sitter Squat is to find restroom if you're on a highway or something, Grubhub to find food, find your iPhone in case you lost it, find free Wi-Fi, and then this is my uh, car service in case I need to find a way to get home at night in the city, and then Subway and Hop Stop are just ways to find the best way where I live in New York to get places to check horoscopes. I have my shopping folder, which is right here. And then I just have all these. Poshmark is really cool. So sell anything you really want. You can list makeup or clothes or anything and have people interact with you and you make up a price and then maybe they'll buy it. Then you have Amazon, which is obviously Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Retail Me Not, which is a great couponing site, Walmart, CVS, Barnes & Noble, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, which I haven't used yet, but I'm excited to use that app. I don't even know. Maybe I'll get a coupon for my iced coffee. Pinkberry, which I love this app. And then Arrow, which if you type in, for example, if you want a camera, it will ask you like what's most important to you. like the focusing quality, the portability, like just it's really cool. And then it gives you a really good price of stuff that's in your range of whatever you typed in. So I really love that app if you're searching for a specific item like a camera or a computer or something like that. 
Okay, then moving on to the fourth page, which has the movies and slash TV app. This is a really awesome app. I love the ITV app. If you don't have this, you really need it. It just is basically a TV guide on your iPhone. So you can check any channel and pretty much anything that's on. So for example, I'll go to on TV right now and at 7.30 slash eight o'clock, all these shows are on on the specific channels that I have listed here and it links up with your cable company. So it's just such an amazing app and it's free and you don't have to go up on the TV to check like what's on or if your show's on or not or whatever. Fandango and IMDB are movie apps and then Redbox to see where Redboxes are in your area and then um, iMedia Share and Uverse, I just downloaded. I'm not really sure of what they are, but they have something to do with linking your TV to your iPhone. I haven't used them yet, so I can't really explain them, but they're just there. Then I have Lifestyle, which is just Groupon, Living Social, and then Clout Score, which I get a lot of free products from Clout. It's pretty amazing. Download it. You don't have to be a YouTuber. I think you just have to get random points and you get free stuff. And then Living Social and Groupon are just really cool couponing sites where you can save a lot of money to do fun things in your area. My sleep apps are amazing. This is what I use to fall asleep and wake up. I use these all the time. I use the relaxing melodies, which I have in my previous iPhone videos. If you, if you want to go watch that, you can listen to some of the melodies. I fall asleep to all these. Then sleep cycle kind of adjusts your phone to the way you sleep and it will wake you up at the time that you are least tired or you will be least tired which is pretty awesome and then shake awake is really cool because it's an alarm clock that you literally have to shake the entire phone for the alarm to stop going off so that's pretty awesome and then this i just downloaded recently it's alarm cssp i have no idea what it is i have photo 2 which is another set of photo editing apps lumi which is really cool it gives you like light filters and hearts and all that pick booth if you want to like look like you're in the picture booths at like random arcades, I guess. Label box, space, pay. all of these are just like ones that I kind of don't use as much, but they're in here because I still have used them in them for. A lot of people like Diptych, I don't really use that as much. Um, 360, which is a really cool app if you want to do a panorama effect, I guess. And we have Photo 3, which is more apps, color splash, frame, space, all these I haven't really used. They're kind of just waiting there for me to try out, so I can't really recommend those. Health, which is my healthy folder, which is like abs, my fitness pal, lose it. Running, couch to 5K, WebMD and drugs, those kind of tell you about stuff if you're in the medicine field. And then Zombies Run, I downloaded because I heard it was really amazing and it's a good way to start running. And I used to run all the time. I need to start getting back into shape and getting on my game. So I'm going to do the Zombie Run app at the treadmill in my gym. iPhone is just kind of these random wallpapers and desktop backgrounds and shelf papers so you can... Uh, find cute pictures. I find so many cute backgrounds and stuff that I saved to my phone through these ones. These are all like my favorites. They're just random ones. So you guys can look at these names and write them down if you're interested in that. The pink one is really cute too. And that was wallpapers. I'm sorry. iPhone is the ringtone app. You can make your own ringtones, app frames, um, just a way to like kind of customize your phone, have themes, emoji, which you have installed in your phone. Then you have text, which is a really cool like I guess, app for your fonts or texts in your phone, Twigram, Versagram, Font Maker, cool fonts, Instaquote, they basically just have random things you can type and then put on Instagram. Uniconsole is really cool too. You can just use this app to um, have the different symbols, all these different symbols like crosses, use happy faces, checks, X's that you just copy and paste into your Instagram or text or whatever you want. So that's cool. Then we have my finance folder, which is boring. It's just my PayPal account and my bank, PNC. Then we have private, which is just um, ways to kind of keep stuff personal. If you have personal pictures that you don't want anyone to see, you can't get into it unless you enter your password, which can be different from your phone password. In case you want to keep anything private, you have to enter a passcode to get into it. And then all this is like password keeper to keep all your passwords, blah, blah, blah. So all similar. And then pink pad is a way to track your monthly cycle for all you ladies out there. It's very helpful. I highly recommend that app. And then let's see, Silly is just fun apps. Um, I talked about this in my older iPhone video, so you can definitely go check that out. Some e-cards are those funny cards that people post on Instagram with little cartoon characters saying random stuff. 
I'd cap that fat booth, geek booth, ways to make you look funnier. I funny is where I find most of my funny pictures that I post on Instagram. Cheeseburger and an emoji are the same. Talking emojis is something that my friend Chelsea and Lisa told me about. This was so funny. They were at my house and we were just doing this like over and over like complete losers, but it's so fun. Basically, you just say anything. So for example, I'm just gonna record. Hi, I love my subscribers, bye. And then you can play it back. Hi, I love my subscribers, bye. <laughs> well, that's just kind of a lame one, but basically you can pick a ton of different emoji. Basically you can pick a ton of different. Oh, shut up, stop imitating me. This is getting annoying. You can pick all these different ones and then you can make them talk and it's just really funny. After Silly, we have blogs, which are the blogs that I read when I am in the mood to read blogs. These ones are all amazing. Candy Johnson, who I'm sure all of you know, Kim Kardashian, Natty and Cheryl, who are my girls that I follow on Instagram. I used to read their blogs all the time. Cheryl actually makes videos and Natty's, their, their blogs are just amazing. So I'll link them both below. If you guys don't know who they are, they're freaking awesome. So I love them. Okay, then I have this folder, which is just drinks and it has drinking games or mixology. If you're over 21, kind of fun to like make your own drinks. Random, which is just the, the apps that I have that are just, I have no folder for them. So I just put them in here. Ways to record a call, ways to find out the lines at Disney World, which is really random and funny. Akinator, which is kind of like a genie asking question game. It's kind of cool. Um, he always guesses the right characters. Beautify free. I think that's a way to change your hair color or eye color and see what you look like. I made face. That was pretty popular at one point. Urban dictionary, which is just a funny like lingo. So dictionary. And then Evie, which if you don't have the 4S, you don't have Siri, which I don't. So Evie's kind of like her sister. She's a little slower than Siri, but she accomplishes pretty much the same stuff as Siri does. Okay, then newsstand comes with the phone. You can't really get rid of it. So I just have the New York Times in there since that's the paper I read. So it's free and I just keep it in there on the newsstand. Then my last page of apps, finally, I have books, which is my book app, obviously. And this app is just has Goodreads, which if you want to put a list of the books that you have read and you love and you can read comments and just talk to other people about the books, which is awesome. Currently reading, what did I put here? Oh, The Four Agreements. I'm currently reading this. It's amazing. And then to read, these are all the books that I actually want to read in the future. Okay. And then Four Agreements app is the book I'm actually reading and the app is amazing. If you guys haven't read this book, I highly recommend it. It just is a really good, positive, inspirational book that I may actually do a review about. I'm halfway through and I love it and it has definitely changed my perspective on life and everything. So I really, really love that. Okay, then I have uh, video, which I don't really use these, but these are just iMovie capture videos, camera app in case you do want to film or edit on your iPhone. I don't really do that. I'll get to the games in a second. This is my most recent pick editing folder, which is the ones I use a lot. I should have this in the beginning of my iPhone, but I kind of go to the last page anyway to just used to it. Boca Cam FX is a way to put hearts and stars on your pictures. Camera timer if you want to set up a timer. Aviary, square ready, over is a good way to put text. That's how I make my thumbnails for my videos. Instaframe, Wittagram, Whitegram, whatever you want to say. That's really cool because it is a way to, because you can't fit your pictures in Instagram a lot, which I absolutely hate. So let's say you want to fit a specific picture. You just pick the picture from your album. And if you can't fit on Instagram, so I'll take my picture of my dog right here. You can choose a background color, whatever you want to do, and then you can upload it to Instagram and it will fit and you don't have to worry about like the edges getting cropped off or whatever. I hate that about Instagram. So I really love that. Talia actually told me about that. So thanks, Talia. Instaframe free is just a way to get cute frames around it. Split Pick is a cute collage app. Pink Nation is the Victoria's Secret app. It's cute. You can have tons of filters of like bubbles, hearts, and the word love and stuff like that. And then Boca Flex is similar to Boca Cam FX. You can put um, tons of different filters. I really like this. This is something that I've recently downloaded. It's fairly newer, at least for me, and you can just upload a picture and have tons of different filters on that picture, like stars, paw prints, candy wrappers, totally random things, but they're really cool. So let's see, I'm gonna take a picture again. My background picture, here we go. And you pick any of these filters, which there's so many of them. As you can see here, circles, pentagons, like 
just really random cute stuff. We have um, Popograph, which I just downloaded. It's just a, another picture editing app, obviously, but I don't really use it because I just downloaded it, so I'm still trying to figure it out, so I don't recommend that yet. Oh my gosh, my phone's about to die. Oh my gosh, it's on 2%. Look at that, 2%. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, I had to plug it into the charger. Then I have the Passbook app, which I don't really use, but I'm sure if you are flying somewhere, you can put your flight tickets on there or whatever your airline information is on there, which is awesome. Reminders I don't use because I have other apps like Wonderlist or whatever. And these apps are the apps, the original apps of the apps that I changed the background icons to. So for example, um, my Instagram at the bottom here looks like that. And in order to use this app and have the icons for your apps look cute, you have to keep the original apps. So the app is, like I said, called Cocopa, and it is right here, and it just looks like this, and I'm sure a ton of you heard of this because it was huge on YouTube a while ago, and it just was a really popular app on iTunes and everything, and um, it's just really fun. It's very user-friendly. It's pretty easy. The only negative is that it is a shortcut. You can't click and have it go straight there. So for example, when I click Instagram at the bottom here, it is a shortcut, so it takes a little longer to go to Instagram. As you can see, it's white first. And here are the originals because you have to keep them, so I just kept them in a folder. These are all the ones that I have the like special, I guess, icon images for. And then we'll go to my games app, which I have two games app. I'm not a huge gamer. I deleted a, so many games from my old iPhone. Oh my gosh, like my old iPhone videos had a lot. Um, Scramble I used to play a lot, Temple Run was fun, Family Feud is fun, Words with Friends I used to play, I don't play anymore, Angry Birds, don't play anymore, I should delete that, Fall Down and Sudoku are really fun, Time Killers, Fruit Pop I downloaded because someone on YouTube was talking about it, I haven't played it though, Doodle Jump I used to be addicted to, I'm not addicted to anymore, and then Run Sheldon is this like, kind of like Mario Brothers, you kind of just like run this little turtle around random environments. This one, my most addictive games. Uh, Ruzzle is very much like Scramble. It's like Boggle. I really, really love that. You can play against your friends. Collapse Blast, I love. It's just like organizing blocks by colors. And Temple Run 2, a lot better than Temple Run 1. I love it. Ice Cream Jump, which sort of like Doodle Jump, but it's little ice creams instead of the doodle man or whatever you call it. Four pictures, one word. I got addicted to this after I was a camp counselor because everyone was playing that. It's just really fun. Pug Run, uh, I'm not sure what that is. I think uh, the girl I babysit downloaded that because I'm not really sure what Pug Run is. It looks like a pug running. Okay, Mega Run, same thing. I have no idea what that is. 94 seconds is like a word game, I think. Um, you have to like find out certain things in 94 seconds, I'm assuming. I don't know. And then Subway Surfers is really fun. You just kind of have to dodge. This is one of my most addicting apps uh, or game apps. It's so addicting, it kills a lot of time. Finally, the last app that I have here is Candy Crush, which is my addiction. If you don't have this game, after you watch this video, please download it. It is the best way to kill time. Actually, you might not want to download it because you will get addicted. Every person I've told about this game is like, oh, that sounds stupid, like I'm not gonna get addicted. And then they text me like an hour later, I can't stop playing. It is the greatest game ever. I don't know why. It's not that amazing, but I cannot stop playing. This is the level that I'm on, and this is actually harder than the beginning levels, which look different. But basically, you just make matches, like the three blues in a row, and then they disappear, and you get a high score. And that's pretty much how you play. It doesn't seem as fun, but once you start playing, you realize how addicted you get. So, this, sorry, the sound is obnoxious. Anyway, that is what is on my iPhone. I get so many requests for this video, so I hope you guys like this. I'm sorry if it's super, super long, but everyone keeps asking me to do it. So if you have any questions on any specific app, leave a comment below and I will answer it as fast as I can. And yeah, if you have a what's on my iPhone video, or if you have any apps that you think I should download, leave them in the comments below or post it as a video response. I would love to watch it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.